Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Wednesday, August 22nd, 2007. And on Wall Street today, we're looking at shares of Paychex, symbol P-A-Y-X. You can see the stock isn't at an all-time high. It, had a, uh, it was up near that $60 level back in uh, late 2000. But after caving in in 2001, the stock has pretty much done a whole bunch of nothing here over the last six years. And it's finally uh, looking like the buyers are back in control of that longer-term trend. Now it's at highs not seen since March of 2001. So we're at six-year highs here. We've got a nice increase in volume here over the last uh, several months. And it looks like this stock is headed higher. When we look at the weekly time frame, what I see here that looks pretty obvious is this inverted head and shoulders pattern. Most people look at a head and shoulders pattern as a reversal pattern, but a lot of times they act as very good continuation patterns as well. Now, because the primary trend is higher here, we see we've got a rising 200-day moving average. We've got a rising 50-day moving average as well. It looks like we can use this to give us a, an idea of p the potential where the stock has to go as far as an upside target. So if we take a look at uh, the traditional way of looking for a price objective with a head and shoulders, what we do is we take the tip of the head at about $33 a share, and we go straight up to where it meets the neckline. That neckline is met at about 42 and a half, which is being uh, conservative here. So it's about nine and a half dollars, the height of that pattern. We then add that to the breakout point. The breakout point, let's call it $42 a share. So if we add nine and a half dollars to uh, $42 a share, that would give us an upward objective at about $51.50. Now in order to see if that looks like it's reasonable, we have to look further to the left. That is, we have to look back at more time to see if it looks like it's going to be met with a larger source of supply that might potentially slow it down on its way towards that level. So here's about that 51 and a half level. And it looks like there is not a big source of supply potentially that would slow this down. So the stock looks very good. It looks realistic that it could get up to that 51 and a half level um, as, a, as a potential upside target. If we look at the daily time frame, you can see in here that the stock is showing this very nice series of higher highs and higher lows. Now it's just pulled back again in here and now for a buy, I think you want to wait to see the stock move above this recent resistance. That's at about $45.10. Above $45.10, I think the buyers are back in control of the short-term trend. I, I think you could put a stop right down here at about a dollar and a half away and hold on to the stock for potentially much bigger gains. But you can see where that resistance lies at about that $45.10 level. Now there's a little bonus with this stock and that is the short sellers. You can see here looking at the uh, last year or so back to August of 2006, we've got a short position of 10.4 million shares. Now the only way that any of those guys are making money is they've basically got to be short from back here from, from 2001 or uh, before that not very likely. So it's reasonable to assume that these shorts are starting to feel some pain in here and starting with another leg higher at about $45.10, I think you've got a very good pos uh, potential for these shorts to feel that pain and hopefully they're going to go in and buy this stock along with momentum players and funds that are buying this and this stock can hopefully quickly move up towards that $51 level.